Monaco began life after Niko Kovac with a trip to Nantes. The Croatian dismissed on New Year's Day after an underwhelming campaign had left last year's title challenges often hovering around mid-table. Billy Clement, the man chosen to turn things around. The Belgian boasts an impressive CV, having won three consecutive titles in his three full seasons as manager of Genk and then Club Bruges. He would face a tough test in his first match in France, taking a long journey northwest to Upper Brittany, where he would find a side on a run of five straight wins and up well into the top half of the table. It was the Monegasque who produced the opening chance, though. Gilson Martin breaking away down the right and sliding a ball across the box. Slightly ahead of Kevin Volando, the German finding Caio Enrique, who in turn laid it off to Sofian Diop. The strike was straight at Alban Lafont. A reassuring start for Clément, nonetheless. Once one Comboire calm on the sidelines for now, but another chance was coming for the visitors. Diop this time choosing to try and do it all himself. Cutting in from the right, taking a shot from an ambitious angle, which arrowed wide at the far post. Monaco on the attack again. Contan Merlin making an error as he tried to play it out from the back. Enrique firing across into the corridor of uncertainty. No one there to turn it in, but the ball finding its way to Ismail Jacobs, who fired in a low drive, which sparked a scramble in the box, culminating in a wild swipe from Enrique, which actually went out for a throw. Then it's Appiah with the block, and then a miss hit from the Brazilian. So, nil-nil at the break. Monaco had lost three of their last five away games in the final weeks under Kovac, and many as in their previous 17. The signs were promising in Clermont's first 45 minutes. Now for the next 45. Convoire's half-time team talk had seemingly had an effect, as Nantes came out with far more intent. Roddy Pereira breaking down the left, finding Ludovic Blas six yards out, the midfielder unable to turn it in under pressure. Less more than Le Canary had shown for much of the first half. Another chance. Sebastian Corsia chipping a free kick into the box. Pedro Kirivella firing in a fierce low shot from the edge of the area and drawing a good save from Alexander Nubel. The Germans' defence there to deal with the rebound. Former Liverpool man looking for his first goal since the one-all draw with Bordeaux back in October. He won't have had many better efforts than that since. Monaco finally got going in the second half and produced perhaps the best chance of the game with 15 minutes remaining. Substitute Marion Boadu with a great first touch, but the second crucially just wide. Dutchman with his head in his hands, and that was the moment. Teed up by his fellow substitute, new signing Vanderson, but the 20-year-old could only drag his effort across goal. And that did prove to be the last real chance, nil-nil at the final whistle. This is only the fourth time in 14 matches since Nantes returned to the top flight in 2013 that they have avoided defeat against Monaco. Not the worst start for Clément, a great performance from his goalkeeper, but certainly work to do for the Belgian.